Uh, so we have 40 new chickens coming on April 1st and in the past we've always raised our hatchlings in the house and it's dusty and messy and so now we're trying to build a permanent solution uh, outside um, in one of our existing coops um, so that each time we get new baby chicks every year we can put them in there and start them uh, where they're going to live. So. One of the reasons we want to go ahead and start our baby chickens in the area that they're going to be living is because in the past it's been a real pain in the butt to transition them from their big tubs into the coop. And we don't really want to deal with that anymore because we have a baby and it's just not fun to do. So starting them where they're going to live eliminates that need to transition. So in order to do that, you have to have something that has light. And so if you notice this house, we can open up the windows and and it already has um, metal wiring on it so that hopefully predators cannot get inside. safety, which we're not, because we're trying to do this fast, so. Regular heat bulbs are extremely dangerous for obvious reasons because they can cause fires and nobody wants that. And you'd be surprised at how often they happen. So this year we decided against them because they take up a lot of electricity, they're dangerous, um, and it's it's not as easy to monitor. So we bought this particular heater. Um, it's called a sweeter heater and it's radiant but it heats um, the same as a heat bulb does and you can just hang it um, and so you can kind of raise it as the chickens get older but this is our safe alternative and while it is pricey if you think about the amount of money that you save on your electric bills and then obviously your peace of mind then it's definitely worth it um, you can get them in all different sizes but we got the biggest one that they had because we have so many chickens the other two things that we're doing this year one of the things that I hate doing more than anything when we have baby chickens is emptying out their feed and their water because chickens are so dumb and they just want to dig everywhere and poop in everything and so it always ends up being really gross. So we got this feeder this year which is great because there's holes for any kind of age or size of the chicken so it's a no waste chicken feed. Um, so the small ports are for chicks between the ages of like one and four weeks and then the bigger ones go up to like five and 12 weeks. And then obviously, um, you know, any size chicken can do it. But the idea is um, that you fill it up and as long as it's full, then they can get in it, but they can't scratch all the feed out. So you're saving money on lost feed. And then the water that we got this year um, is a bucket, which we bought the bucket because it was a pack, but you can use your own. We're going to install these little drinking cups and um, <clears throat> you can elevate this or you can hang it but these cups are really cool because there's a motion sensor in the cup so once it gets empty the cup lifts up which lets it know that it needs to fill back up and then as it's full it goes down and it stops filling up and so the other good thing is, is that chickens can obviously stand on this but it's not all their water so once um, they drink the water, then it will refill, obviously. So those things are, they, they cost a little money on the front end, but the amount of time that you save on a day-to-day -day cleaning is well worth the cost.
So this is like our makeshift lid. Just made a small frame and I, uh, I cut the boards while um, I was, I marked the boards while I was in the barn so you can see how it works in here. So one side of the lid will go right here. And it just lays on there, this just keeps the birds in there. easy access to it. We have easy, easy way to raise and lower this as needed. The uh, water is in there and our new feeder in there is in there and we'll either put wood chips or hay. So a lot of people wonder how we get stuff like this done with our baby now and it's hard because either we have to run out here while he's napping or we have to plan for a day where somebody can be here to help us. So right now he's actually out here with us. <laughs> Let me show you. You gotta let go, you gotta let go buddy. So this is my mom, say hi mom. Hi. Mom comes out at least once a week and um, this Ergo Baby Carrier is the best thing ever. Thank you Rebecca for the gift. Um, he likes to be out here and he likes to be immersed in watching the chickens. You can't tell but he is watching the chickens, petting the donkeys and just being able to enjoy the warm weather like the rest of us. And that right, Silas. Hi! So that's how we get things done. Things keep moving. Better carabiner all along. Damn. She is. Pixie, come here. Um. Hey, Boots! You want to be in that movie? Oh, yeah. Right in the crotch. I feel like one of those people that like has a falcon. She's like, fuck you, I'm going back to my box. <laughs> those nails, yeah, that's dangerous. You need to pull those things out. Oh yeah, okay. Yep. Boots is like, hey. What are, you, what are we doing in here? <laughs> hey Boots. Boots is like, and I can come in and I can just look at them mm -hmm. and look at their food. <laughs>